disregard any noise you guys hear in the background but shadow of war gameplay was just released today you guys can go check it out in the top link description and something that has a lot of people wondering because you did not see it in the gameplay was is shadow of war going to have an open world map aka are you going to be like in the first one where you go through and you just roam a land and then you can brand Ulrich and stuff like that. It turns out, yes, you're actually going to be able to do that. However, in the gameplay, it does not actually show that. What it shows is they're attacking a fortress. And what this actually is, is it's going to be in one of these, just the fortress is one of many of the occasions. But there's going to be randomly zones that you can go to and face warlords, which have three to four war chiefs below them. And then you got to kill the war chiefs to get to the warlord to conquer that fortress. They're kind of like... In a sense, like the Oryx or Warlords home away from home. Like, you see them, okay, like, imagine, like, in the first Shadow of Mordor, you see them out in the open world, okay, all right? And then you don't see them when they're not out in the open world. These are the places they're going to go, all right, okay? So, essentially, that's how it works. Now, this is to expand on the Nemesis system and give them a little bit of a more personal look like you're going after this warlord guy you know you're going after him to destroy him you're taking from what he has what his like little area his fortress that he has from him and stuff like that so shadow of war will actually feature an an actual open world however if you take a look at the gameplay they are basically just showing you know fortresses and different things like that on the map so it questioned a lot of people like are we going to get an open world and apparently according to the game developers yes we are going to get an actual open world this is not just what the game is going to be which is what some people actually thought it was going to be but it's not so we're gonna get an open world plus this on top of that as well which in my opinion it looks awesome it looks cool i really like how it worked out and everything like that you got this badass dude over here on the right hand side if you haven't checked out the gameplay top link in the description go check it out but basically he's got this badass dude that acts as a you know battering ram and he rams himself into the gate this other dude over here within the caragor also helps him out as well i'm not going to spoil it in case you haven't seen it that's all i'm going to say but in the gameplay very early on i will talk about this however because it's very early on he winds up killing a war chief supposedly and then in the second area of the fortress the war chief comes back and attacks him now in maybe it's just random or maybe not okay all right but does that mean that every time we kill a war chief kill a war chief in the first part of the fortress that we we raid or you know attack does that mean if we do not decapitate them they're basically guaranteed to come back sometime later on while we're still raiding that fortress if so if that is something that's going to happen it is going to be a little bit of a downer in my opinion because that means you can that means every time you kill that first dude and you don't decapitate him you always know hey he's going to come back later you know and that that kind of takes away from the is he going to come back or is he not kind of feeling that you had in the first one when you killed a guy and you didn't know if he was going to come back or not so this also explains the gameplay also explains a little bit of the why these war chests were offered with the additions of the game you have the silver chest and the gold chest which are offered these will offer valuable loots in the game if you check out the gameplay and watch the gameplay it works in a sense kind of how the runes work you kill a war chief and it'll drop you know it'll drop a piece of armor you can go ahead and equip that armor to go ahead and make you know customized attributes on talent which is like give you more health and more attack more damage different things like that which is really awesome in my opinion as well as on top of that a lot of people were saying that the gameplay looked too easy and if you actually go back to the first shadow of mordor when they first shot off gameplay it looked easy then too but the game can actually be very hard the reason being is due to the demo that people got to play they enabled it so they get unlimited wraith bar or however you you know pronounce it wraith power okay so you get unlimited execution they got unlimited arrows I noticed because they used an arrow during the walkthrough gameplay walkthrough for the game and their arrows were still at 14 which tells me that they did a little bit of modifying it'll be way more difficult in the game so that's it hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you guys think about the gameplay trailer down in the comment or the gameplay down in the comment section below and I'll see you guys next time